Good quality class three race seven on the program. Let's take a look at the lineup for the Port Shelter handicap. 1200 meters, champions way, undefeated from three starts. Top weight, barrier 12. This will be a tougher test for him. Fat Turtle was very impressive at the Valley. Now he's drawn 13 for his debut at Sha Tin. Breeder Sky, Momentum Galaxy, Great Smart, Shushon, all former Australian gallopers on debut. Solar YY Barrier 8, Sun Far Far hasn't raced since late February. Casemiro and top score, very close to a drop in grey, but he has been running okay. Two back, he was a nice third behind Tornado Twist. Amazing luck is the one horse from this race that has been back and forth from the Paulo Sullivan Yard to Chunfar, and he has blinkers for the first time in race seven. Some nice young gallopers here, Tom. Certainly is. Uh, Fat Turtle, we saw him roll along in front last uh, time out. You've got Jin Toki, who was uh, just behind the speed last time out. He might be able to uh, get to a, a forward position. Of course, Fat Turtle drawn wide. Uh, Solar YY is drawn eight, so you could see him posy up uh, near the 1 1 position. And uh, Joe Marrera has some interesting choices to make on uh, Champion's Way, what he does uh, decide to do from gate 12. Here he is, Champions Way. He's come up pretty short, but he goes nicely here this morning. You can see he's under an absolute double wraps. And uh, he's looked pretty good, this horse, from his three starts, three wins. Just got the wide draw. Be interesting to see what the tactics are uh, from that wide draw. But he's uh, looked very good. Momentum Galaxy is one of the first starters here in Hong Kong. He's exactly £1,000, uh, two trolls. Hasn't really impressed too much in those two trolls to date by the factor. Barrier six for him. It's the, that one there, Momentum Galaxy. And Shusan down the back straight there. He goes nicely enough here. Uh, he's had the two trials as well. He's uh, going nicely here. Barrier number two for him and uh, no problems with him. Yeah, I think I might have said Shushon before. Shushon probably goes a little better. Uh, let's hear, though, firstly from John Sires regarding the Toppy Champions Way, who, as I said, is undefeated. Champions Way, John. Three from three. Big wraps on him from the outside. What about from the inside? What's your opinion of him? Yeah, he's done nothing wrong. He's certainly uh, a very smart horse and uh, he learnt to race pretty quickly. Um, he looks like he does everything correctly, so uh, uh, I'm sure he'll have a, a very bright future. Any concerns the fact that he's got the big weight and the wide draw come Sunday? Well, yeah, everything's a concern. I mean, all those things uh, um, creep into the equation with as to whether he can win or not, but uh, we have to deal with it every day. So um, big weight, wide gate, and that's a good horse's task, and uh, you know, he's a good horse, so maybe he can do it again. We had a similar scenario not that long ago with Full of Beauty drawing wide. He was able to sit deep, no cover, go on and score. This guy looks similar. Ilk. The one thing I like about Champion's Way is he's really robust. He's got a lot of core strength, I think, uh, underneath his uh, his stomach and around his, his behind, obviously, and his front leg. So I get the feeling he's capable of sitting three deep and still winning with the weight. Yeah, he looks very smart. He mm. ran out a little bit over the concluding stages in that last start performance, but he's uh, gone up some 28 points in his three runs. So uh, he's taken all before him so far. He has, hasn't he? And uh, he looks a really nice progressive horse, so he looks tough to beat, and the price reflects that. Yeah. Nice, big, strong, core strength type like uh, us three gentlemen here at the table. <laughs> um, on to Fat Turtle. How does that uh, roll Sigway in together? Roll. A bit of a Sedgeway there, Paul. Um, Alcari <laughs> has been racing fair, although he's a little bit hit and miss, but Fat Turtle was impressive enough at the Valley. This is currently 22 to 1. Surely he won't start that price. Yeah, big price, isn't he? Zach Pern, of course, rode him here. He won't be riding him on uh, Karis Teton will pick up the mount. Barrier 13 will make it a bit tricky, trickier for him. But there's ability there. Oh, I threw him in for fourth just to be safe. He had to do a little bit of work uh, last time out. He was outside uh, the lead. It was a good tough win from him and there was plenty of talk about him leading into that first run. There was. Mm -hmm. I, I can't see him starting double figures. I'd be very surprised. Breeders Sky, another one of the debutants in this race. Uh, through a four-year-old actually by Snitzel. Ran around in some decent three-year-old group twos and group threes before heading to uh, Hong Kong? Yeah, he's come from the uh, the Snowden stable, uh, ran in the Ming Dynasty, the Spring Stakes, the Carbine Club, and also in the uh, the Sandown Guineas, where he ran mm. seventh in the the Sandown uh, Guineas. Um, he did win three uh, races in a row at Newcastle and Canterbury. I thought his trials have been relatively good. £1,092. Interesting that he's already changed stables, this horse, before he raced. He's now with Richard Gibson. Is that right? Hmm. Okay, who was he with before that? Uh, it's a good question, uh, Brett. Uh, okay. uh, David Ferraris. <laughs> right, good answer. Uh, Momentum Galaxy. Um, this guy 
is by the factor, as you mentioned. He was a winner of a maiden as a two-year-old. What do we make of him, Tom? Yeah, he was with David Payne. He was known as uh, Momentum Factor, so he's had a, a last name change uh, to Galaxy. Um, he was ridden out in this recent trial. I thought it was only fair. He's um, just run fifth in that, but it didn't uh, didn't inspire me too much. But um, he did have some winning form from Australia. Yeah, that yeah. maiden was at Warwick Farm. Yeah, yeah. Dan, and he, look, he went nice enough there, didn't he? We'll be interested to see how he goes on, David. Mm. All right. Uh, Let's go to the tips, see if we get any of these newcomers in. Is this a strong class three, Paul? Yeah, it definitely is. I think Champions Way can win, uh, though. From uh, Solar Waiwai, who chased him home last time, top scorer in there for third. I think he can run well from his lightweight. And uh, Fat Turtle, he's the other one uh, in there for fourth. So went 11, 14 and 2. Champions Way is the one that they all have to uh, beat here, but certainly you're uh, going to throw in uh, Solar YY here. Uh, Zach Purton uh, taking the ride on him uh, rather than Fat Turtle. You have to wonder if uh, Zach had the choice uh, there or not. So he's, if he has, he's gone with uh, Solar YY. Very impressive win from him uh, two runs ago, and he wasn't disgraced last time out. Fat Turtle, going to throw in top score. He's at uh, 13 to 1 at the moment, top score. Uh, poor performance from him last time out. Ryder was concerned with the action, but he had been going okay prior to that. 1 11, 2 and 14. Yeah, just to correct something I just said there, I said David Ferraris. I was got mixed up with the other Breeders' horse, of course, Breeders' star. Yeah. But uh, no, it wasn't David Ferraris. Of course, it was with Jimmy Ting. Right, okay. Yeah. All right, uh, thanks for sorting that. Um, I actually put top score in initially as well, and then I dropped him out and threw in Alcari, but top score would be definitely one for the exotics. Right, so that is race number seven. Looks a very interesting race on the card.